Hello everyone, I'm Brushes and Bunnies, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about using gouache and watercolor together in one painting. I'll also be talking about my struggles with using gouache and why it's so difficult to even paint with it. Before we get to the art stuff, I just want to do a very quick update for all of you. Many of you probably already know that I was struggling a lot with, you know, art block, lack of inspiration, just generally feeling burnt out and very fatigued with the whole art thing and also with YouTube. A lot of my past videos do talk about that, or I should say my recent videos talk about this topic in general. So if you're interested in finding out what was going on, please check out those. I know a lot of you are new to the channel, so welcome. Hello, I'm Brushes and Bunnies, and I'm so sorry that I just haven't been there to greet you guys and be there and basically do my usual things like my usual upload schedule which is every uh sunday gosh i've even forgotten the date every sunday and also uh weekly live streams which i used to do a lot i'm so sorry i just haven't been there i've had to take a pretty much a three month break i would say in terms of getting back into the group of things allowing myself to take care of my my body my mind just you know taking a break from everything um, I really had to do it and I'm still kind of in it, but I'm also trying to get back into the group of things. So getting back to my normal upload schedule and also getting back to being more active on social media. And um, I feel good and I'm actually, I think I'm starting to be ready to do it again. So I'm so sorry I just haven't been there. I really had to take care of myself and, you know, <laughs> stop myself from becoming a total recluse, which is what was happening because I was just letting art take over everything in my life. That being said, I want this video to be all about art, so now we're gonna switch topics to gouache and watercolor. For this painting, I did use gouache and watercolor together, although I did use watercolor more than gouache. And this is basically the style that I developed over time. Although I do wanna introduce gouache a lot more into the mix, I'm finding it very difficult. And I'm also finding it difficult to find a specific style that I could call my own with both of these mediums. This painting is one of the first full paintings that I have been able to accomplish since the past three months. I don't think I did something of this scale since July or beginning of August at least, and it felt really good being able to do it and also start to use watercolor and gouache once more. I have been dabbing with watercolor and gouache over the past few weeks in my sketchbook. I do have a watercolor sketchbook that I've just been sort of playing around with. And um, yeah, it, it's been... It's been sort of good to get back to it because initially before my three month break, I was sort of really frustrated with this medium, um, especially with gouache. I was struggling a lot with it. I just didn't really know how to make it work. I was seeing a lot of other artists using this medium and their work was beautiful, absolutely gorgeous work. And I just couldn't understand how they were able to play with gouache and get it to look that great while I was having difficulties uh, with mixing the colors and also with applying it on the paper and reactivating it, reactivating it, and just trying to figure out how to make things work together with watercolor or just gouache itself. So what is the difference between watercolor and gouache? Well, both mediums are very similar in that they share sort of the same ingredients in the way that they're made. Watercolor is much more transparent and you can basically build up the colors of your painting with layer after layer. And uh, gouache is a little bit different in the way that it's more thicker, it's much more opaque, and this means that you don't need so much color to build a strong color base. In terms of using both mediums together, what has worked best for me over the year has been essentially just building the painting with layers of watercolor. I would sometimes mix watercolor and gouache together to get something that's a little bit more opaque, but pretty much the um, the first few layers of the painting will be watercolor only. And in this case, what you're seeing in the actual video is just me working with watercolor in itself. Now you can actually use gouache and water it down a lot to make it more of a watercolor type of medium, um, but I typically just stick with the watercolor itself and then I will then add a layer of gouache, maybe one or two layers afterwards for the final detail. 
But this really depends on the sort of style and illustration that you're going for. If you want a more softer look, something that's a little bit more, I don't really know how to describe it, more delicate, perhaps use layers of watercolor. But if you're going for a solid color or you're wanting to have an extreme contrast within the painting, then gouache is definitely your go-to medium for this, just because you can achieve such a strong, solid color uh, without the paper sh uh, shining through. Uh, so gouache is very, very good for this and with watercolor I always had troubles achieving this sort of look and feel of having a strong solid color and usually I would just go for for gouache directly if that's what I want to do. Certain examples of when I use gouache would then be in the facial features for example around the eyes around the lips the nose uh, maybe some I don't know some skin uh, I don't really know how to describe it, like uh, some details of the skin. Uh, I do use gouache just because you can get a very solid color. Also the outlines. So I do like to outline my work, sometimes in black marker, other times in paint itself. And I think that gouache is the best to use if you're wanting to outline your work with a darker color or even with a lighter color. But gouache will basically guarantee a solid line whilst watercolor might just be a little bit more faded, a little bit more blended within the paper itself. Uh, so if you want to have a nice solid color for the outline, definitely go with gouache. I did once try, or at least a couple times, try to do a full painting using gouache only, and I thought it could work, and I had sort of a vision of how it could probably be done, but I just, I just failed completely. It was really, really difficult. Part of the reason why was because the paint kept reactivating when I just tried to apply more layers on top, although I was being very, very careful about it, making sure that it was completely dry before applying more layers. I just, I, I don't know, it was just a hard time getting the correct balance and also making sure that it looked nice. Uh, partially probably because I was looking at it from a watercolor perspective still, so the way that I typically paint, I was trying to do the same with, with gouache and it just wasn't working out. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just need a lot more practice and I really want to practice in the, in the future and uh, try to be able to use gouache a lot more with my work. So with all of the struggles that I faced and all of the hardships that came with trying to learn gouache, I absolutely have no idea why I'm still trying to do it. I just have a feeling as if like this is a good match with watercolor and I should probably do both at the same time. I, I'm not so sure. I like the balance that I'm doing now where I have an equal balance or more so of a, like 75% watercolor, 25% gouache. Uh, to create a painting. I really like this balance. I just think that I could probably benefit a little bit more from using more gouache, but that will come with time and just with practice. If you have any good tutorials or any sort of sources that I could use to learn gouache, please let me know in the comments below. I am super eager to learn this craft and try to incorporate it with my watercolor work. So please let me know down below. I'm kind of desperate with this just because I want it to work so bad. Uh, but yeah, I guess it just comes with practice and just, just by doing it. For the rest of the painting, I did not use any more watercolor or gouache. I just basically used my gold paints just to create more of a, I don't know, cohesive background here. I used the gold paint and then I also did draw some floral elements, so a lot of flowers and little leaves in the background just to finish off the overall concept. And then I did use my fine liner just to make certain features of the painting stand out. For example, the eyes and maybe just accentuate some of the outlines with black fine liner. But that's pretty much it and that's all that I have for today. I hope you did enjoy this painting and I hope you also uh, comment below, let me know what you think of it and let me know if there's any useful li links or tips and tricks that I could use to learn gouache and get better at using gouache. I want to wish you all a lovely weekend, uh, keep drawing, never give up, and stay awesome. We will see each other next weekend. Bye!